So, duh. Welcome to another edition of So, duh. That's Zion along with Val. Uh, yeah, so I saw this on Instagram, on Rocket Fizz is Instagram. There's a little hair on there. And uh, I immediately sure, had to go and check them out. I got this up at Lake Arrowhead. They have a, a Rocket Fizz up there. And they're toxic waste sodas. Toxic waste candy is the main competitor to Warheads. Uh, warheads are always a little more sour, but I always prefer toxic waste because they're less sour. Because I think Warheads are too sour. Now, now, but tell me, because do Warheads have the warning that these have? Because these, this, this, sure. has a, this has a warning on that tells you to only eat one. Yeah, 100%. Because if you, you know, one of the old school YouTube channel uh, challenges was people doing the 100 Warhead challenge, where you had to do them one at a time. And we had Chuck do it. It makes your tongue bleed. Like it's acidic wow. to the point where you'll bleed. And no, I've never seen anybody beat it. Um, so I thought what we'll do is we'll try the actual toxic waste first because I haven't had that in forever. And then we'll try the sodas. Yeah, same here. My uh, my friend Sharon from uh, Liverpool had sent me a <sighs> not Sharon. Yes, Sharon from Liverpool. From Liverpool. Wait a minute. Let's see. So we have regular Wait. toxic. Is this the blue ras? Yeah, blue raspberry. <clears throat> Let's see if we can get one of each. There's no red though. Unless it's what the, is the flavor? It might be this one. That one might be strawberry. Uh, that says uh, mm -hmm. watermelon. Watermelon. Okay. There's, just don't know. <laughs> there we go. Uh, there's one. Oh wait, wait. We, only we one. We need three of these, right? Those. Oh, those, never mind. This is black cherry anyway. What is that? It's strawberry. So these aren't exactly accurate. <clears throat> we can at least do the blue raspberry and the regular. You want to do two? <clears throat> sure. All right. Well, no. Wait, 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 wait. You can have like ten or twenty of these, no problem. It's if you do like a hundred, yeah. yeah. You you make it seem like doing more. <laughs> it's I don't like know. So hazardous. Uh, all right, <clears throat> let's do the uh, the regular first, all right. and then we'll try the regular soda. What a cool gimmick! Our buddy uh, David Klein, you remember him, the candy man that invented the Jelly Belly? Yeah. Um, he where when you know he's moved now, he's in Florida. But uh, his when we visited his place, they made all the toxic waste because that's back when it was a much smaller company. Now I'm assuming oh, wow. you know a big corporation probably has it. But all right, let's do it. It's like a saltiness to it. Oh. Oh. You sure you want to do two? Oh. That's gross. Yep. I remember them not being as sour. Oh. It's hazardously sour. It's, like, it's so sour. It's like vinegar that's gone bad. Yeah. Oh man, that is not the way I remember those. Uh, granted though, I haven't had them since we did them over a decade ago. It does seem like though, that the more you suck on it, the less sour it is. No, this is gonna be delicious. I can already tell, just smelling it. What flavor was this though? Was this our green, which is regular apple? Yeah. All right, so they're not exactly the same. We still got the... Oh, wow. It's not as sour as the candy. No, I mean, it's not sour almost at all, really. But we probably should have it done is this tart. first. It's tart. A little. Yeah, well, it's green apple tart. Mmm. I got it on the second swig. Mm -hmm. Ooh, that is sour. Oh, <laughs> it's not. It's not as sour. No, because this actually is good sour. Mm -hmm. That is the candy is so sour that you can't even taste anything. I wonder if they use vinegar when they make this, like apple cider vinegar. Ooh, it tastes more sour than apple cider vinegar though. Yeah, it's not bad. They don't I, have ingredients. I wouldn't get this on my own time. Oh no, of course not. But as a gimmick, like if you got this for your kids, they'd love you. Uh, I, you know, I'll give it. I, I'll just give it. I like the gimmick, and that's what's gonna push it up a little bit for me. Even if the soda's not great, I'll give it a really low four out of five. Cause that gimmick is cool. That's a cool uh, bottle. I'm gonna give it a four because <clears throat> I'm getting green apple fla flavor. Yeah, it's very prominent. It's and just it's, sour. And, it, and it's very seldom that you something that says it tastes like green apple actually tastes like it tastes like you're biting into a Granny Smith apple. Yeah, because it's they, I hit, agree. they hit the mark on that. It's it really does good. taste like you're biting into a Granny named Smith. Here we go, blue raspberry candy. I'm just and then spit this out it. so fast. Oh god. Oh Jesus. Salty. Yeah. Oh, Jesus. You know, I know the difference now between the warheads and the toxic waste. The warheads are coated with it. And once the once you get rid of the, the, coating. the coating, it's not sour anymore. It's just a delicious candy. This is just all sour. Especially this one. It was salty as hell. Yeah. Why, why is it salty? 
don't think it is. I think it's so sour that your taste buds are interpreting it as salty. Sa salty? Let's try the soda, which is gonna be significantly better. Wow, I can't believe like how different this soda is from the candy. It's not even close. I also have to let it be known, I do not like, I'm officially on board with this. I don't like blue raspberry anything. I think it is one of the weirdest flavors, you know, cause it's not a real flavor. It's a, it's a human made flavor. Oh, <laughs> oh, are you getting blue raspberry? That's my tongue. Okay, I'm not bad at it. Man, these are sour. That's sour about the flavor though. Yeah. Oh. The and there's, a, there's a sweetness to it, yeah. but I'm not getting raspberry. Like the, the green apple one, I definitely got a green apple flavor from. This one, I'm not getting oh. raspberry, raspberry flavor. I like the green apple one better. That's like burning. It's, do you tell that this is you probably shouldn't be putting in your body? Yeah, it's burning. <laughs> Uh, I don't like that one as much as green apple, so I'm gonna Same give it. Way. I'm gonna just give it a solid three, though. It's still a cool uh, idea. Also, this is this as uh, the slime liquor, so it's not based off of this. They have um, uh, like a sour candy roller, you know, it's like a little ball, and that's what they're based off of. They sell those as well, so that's that's what they're ripping off. I'm gonna give it a two. Okay. Uh, I mean, the thing is, like I said, I I, get, I rated this one higher because it did have a green apple taste. This is not a blue raspberry taste. It's just sour. Let's try the strawberry. I think this is gonna be the best one. This is gonna be like a Shirley Temple. You think? I think so. I loved Shirley Temples growing up. Oh my god. Oh yeah, smell that. That's gonna oh, be yeah. good. That's gonna be good. No, the flavor's disappointing. Mm -hmm. Ah, damn it. it smells it's, it's better. There. It's there. It's but better. it smells way better than it tastes. Yeah. It's a very subtle flavor. The so, least sour of the bunch, too. Something's burning my innards. We're literally drinking toxic waste. It says, a warning, do not drink. <laughs> this is for your laundry. I like this one better than the blue raspberry, though. Agreed. By a little bit. Agreed. So I'll give this one a high three out of five, but the green apple's the way to go. The green apple is the best. Mm -hmm. Cool. I mean, and a slight, a slight strawberry flavor, though. Totally makes sense that they did this because Warheads has gotten into the soda game, and Warheads has also done, like, the seltzers. Warheads has done, yeah, exactly. Yeah. So they're, because they're whoring their out to everyone. So I'm assuming... Uh, Cause you ever hear the story of how Warhead Seltzer came about? No. Uh, so my buddy, at one of the local liquor stores by my house, his friend liquor. works. Don't do it. <laughs> his friend works for the company that makes the seltzers. So what happened was, they just shot an email over to the people who own Warheads and were like, "What do you think about us like making us like an alcoholic seltzer out of it?" And they fully expected to just get shut down. And they just went, "Yeah, okay, sounds cool." Yeah, that was it. That was the entire thing. They figured out how wow. much that was going to cost and the price and everything. And it is like sometimes sending a random email like that can work. So, and those are good, by the way. Uh, all right. Well, you can get these at uh, Rocket Fizz. If you've got one that's local to you, I'm not sure like how widespread they are. It's not. It's pretty hard to find one. Rocket Fizz. They're yeah. not all. They're not everywhere. No. But they've got all kinds of fun stuff. They've got like just all the weird flavored sodas and old school retro candies and things like that. So if you ever have one or have the opportunity to get to one, definitely check it out. I love Rocket Fizz. And uh, yeah, thank you for doing this with me, Val. Uh, make sure to check out Toxic Waste Soda if you can get a hold of it, green apple version preferably. And we'll see you on the next one. Bye.